This presentation content has been created by Eclipse Security LLC for Microsoft Corporation. For any questions or comments, please email inquiries at eclipsesecuritylc.com. The Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tools Principles Level 100 presentation introduces the role that the Microsoft Security Development Lifecycle fulfills in trusted application development. It also provides an overview of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool which can be used by application development teams to more effectively and correctly use the Microsoft SDL threat modeling process. Addressing the subject matter will enable our organization to enhance our application development practices and the security of our applications. Please note that this is a level 100 presentation meant to familiarize you with the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool fundamentals and principles. These fundamentals and principles will be built upon in subsequent SDL presentations. Please also note that it is highly recommended that the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Principles Level 100 presentation be presented prior to this presentation. In this presentation, we will complete an overview of the Microsoft SDL as well as an overview of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool. Benefits and features of the tool will be discussed along with steps required to use the tool. A demonstration of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool will be given to show how an application development team may create their own threat models using this tool. Finally, information regarding the discussion forum which application development teams can use to discuss the tool and collaborate with other users will be provided. The Microsoft SDL is a holistic and comprehensive approach that leverages education, process, technology, and executive commitment to consistently create more secure software internally within and external of Microsoft. Since 2004, all internal Microsoft developers have been required to adhere to the SDL, and Microsoft has updated the SDL every six months to address any emerging threats since its inception. True to its name, the SDL was created to complement rather than disrupt the software development lifecycle. The core phases and principles of the SDL include the training phase, the requirements phase, the design phase, the implementation phase, the verification phase, the release phase, and finally the response phase. In the training phase, every Microsoft developer must complete mandatory security training focusing on secure application development practices. Training sessions include topics such as threat modeling, secure development and testing practices, and security for application development managers. In the requirement phase, requirements for security and privacy must accompany functional requirements of the software that's being created. Such requirements may include the use of encryption, authentication, and other security measures based on the business requirements, exposure, and sensitive data. To that end, a security and privacy risk analysis is performed at this stage. In addition, the threshold for security and privacy, or bug bar, is defined during this phase to ensure that bugs with certain severity are addressed and resolved before the software is officially released. For the design phase, eradicating coding bugs with security implications is not sufficient. Design vulnerabilities can have a substantial detrimental impact on security and are much more difficult to address during the verification phase. To that end, threat modeling is a critical SDL requirement and a Microsoft security innovation that is recognized by analysts as the next evolution in creating more secure software. Through threat modeling, architects and developers at Microsoft are able to approach security in a structured and methodical way from an attacker's perspective. This allows Microsoft to identify and reduce attack surface and mitigate the risk of potential security design issues. The implementation phase is the application code development phase where code is written by developers using industry best practices and analyzed with both internal and external tools such as static code analyzers and special security debuggers to help ensure that those best practices are being followed. Requirements are also specified by the SDL in this phase to ensure that applications are built using the latest compiler versions and built-in compiler protection features. The verification phase is the quality assurance phase within which rigorous security testing is conducted 
in addition to typical functional testing procedures. In the release phase, the final security review is the major milestone that a Microsoft product team must pass in order to release a product under the SDL. During this meeting, security experts and the development team review all of the activities, mitigations, and security artifacts that are relevant to the project in order to ensure that the security quality requirements are satisfied. During this phase, the product team defines a response plan describing procedures, accountabilities, and contact information in case security vulnerabilities are discovered after the product is optional, operational and used by the customers. In the response phase, after an application is released, the Microsoft Security Response Center, or MSRC, handles any security issues that are uncovered in the weld and mobilizes product teams within Microsoft to provide timely fixes for security issues. In summary, secure software development requires executive commitment, ongoing process improvement, education and training from VPs to product managers to developers to testers, tools to aid in detecting security vulnerabilities, and incentives and consequences to ensure everyone adheres to the SDL process. As was previously indicated, this presentation focuses on the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool and how it can be used to uncover application threats early in the software development lifecycle. With respect to specific phases of the Microsoft SDL, this presentation focuses on the design phase. To help application development teams use the Microsoft SDL threat modeling process, which is a process to identify security threats to a system and establish appropriate mitigations, Microsoft has also published a threat modeling tool. The Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool is a graphical user interface tool that helps application designers create and analyze threat models. Application designers can also use this tool to document mitigation plans and create actionable reports that can be used by the remaining members of the application development team. Furthermore, with this tool, application teams can help ensure that they are using the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling process more consistently and with greater efficiency as opposed to using the process in a highly manual fashion. The official Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool webpage is located at the URL shown here and provides extensive information regarding the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool such as links to download the current version of the tool, online videos, and tutorials. To use the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool, users must be running Microsoft Vista, Microsoft Server 2008, or higher. Also, users must have Microsoft Visio 2007 or higher installed. Lastly, the insights gleaned by Microsoft which are incorporated in its SDL and more specifically in this presentation focusing on the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool are being shared with each of you as a way for our organization to enhance our application development practices and the security of our applications. The Microsoft SDL threat modeling process is a process application designers can leverage to analyze their designs for potential threats and select mitigations. It is broken down into four major steps, model, enumerate threats, mitigate, and validate. The Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool is designed to help streamline aspects of the overall threat modeling process and assist users in creating proper threat models. The first benefit of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool is process automation. The Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool automates many aspects of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling process. Through automation, application teams can better ensure that they are following the process correctly and yielding the greatest results for the threat modeling efforts. Also, with automation, larger and more complicated application designs can be threat modeled with greater ease and efficiency than would be possible while employing a manual approach. Another advantage of using the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool is the guided analysis of potential threats and mitigations. The Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool uses the STRIDE model to automatically generate a baseline of potential threats against data flow diagram elements described in the threat model. Application development teams that use Microsoft Visual Studio Team Foundation Server will benefit from the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tools reporting integration ability. 
Please refer to the help documentation that accompanies the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool for further information on how the tool can be integrated with Microsoft Visual Studio Team Foundation Server. Finally, the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool can create actionable reports which can be used by the rest of the application development team to drive security and testing activities in the implementation and verification phase of the Microsoft SDL. For instance, the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool can analyze a threat model and provide recommendations as to which elements within the model should be fuzz tested. There are four steps to using the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool. The first step is the Draw Diagram step. In this step, application designers use visual controls to model their application designs as a data flow diagram. This data flow diagram will then be used later by the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool to drive the rest of the threat analysis. The next step is the Analyze Model step. In this step, the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool will analyze your data flow diagram and produce a list of potential threats using the Stride model. The Stride model describes common application security threats such as spoofing, tampering, an elevation of privilege and is based on vulnerabilities observed by the Microsoft Security Response Center and the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures listing. The Microsoft SDL threat modeling process uses a mapping between elements within data flow diagrams to threats within the stride model. In this fashion, this tool can be used by non-security experts whenever security expertise is not available and potential threats can be generated more consistently and objectively. Another presentation called Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Principles Level 100 is available. This presentation addresses the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling process in much more detail than is addressed in this Threat Modeling Tool Principles presentation. The third step to use the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool is the Describe Environment step. This step captures information regarding how the application being threat modeled will be deployed. The information gathered in this step does not affect the threat model analysis results. Information gathered captures additional information that may be useful in the overall threat analysis. One example of information that may be gathered could consist of security dependencies that your application may have and assumptions made by your application. The last step is the Generate Reports step. In this final step, the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool will help generate different types of reports, such as analysis reports and recommended testing reports. Reports generated can then be saved as MIME HTML standard format files or may be printed for future use. Let's now take a look at the individual steps within the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool and then later we will actually create a threat model using the tool. The first step in using the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool, similar to the actual Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling process, is to model an application design as a data flow diagram. The Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool provides users with a simple drag and drop Visio based interface that allows application designers to visually model their designs within the tool. After an application design has been modeled as a data flow diagram, the next step is the Analyze Model step. In this step, potential threats against the data flow diagram are identified and mitigations for those threats are documented on a per data flow diagram element basis. The Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool generates a baseline set of potential threats for users using the Stride per Element technique shown by the red boxes. Generating threats using Stride allows the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling process and tool to be used by both security experts and non-security experts. Also, using Stride allows threats to be generated in a more repeatable and objective fashion as compared to enumerating potential threats using more informal methods. Mitigations, as shown by the green boxes, are also documented in this step. The third step employed by the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool is the Describe Environment step. This step does not affect the set of baseline threats generated by the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool, but is useful to document any security dependencies or assumptions. For instance, 
Does your application depend on any libraries that will be linked as part of the overall code generation process? These should be documented. Does your application assume that only an administrator will start the application process? This is another example of an assumption that should be documented. The Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool provides an interface where users can easily enter these deployment environment notes. The final step is the Generate Report step. In this step, reports that summarize threats identified, mitigations selected, and any other useful analysis details are created for users. Reports can be saved as MIME HTML files or printed and shared among the application development team members. Let's now see a demonstration of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool and see how easy it is to use the tool to model application designs, identify potential threats to those designs, document mitigations, and generate reports. In our demonstration, we will threat model the actual use of the threat modeling tool itself. In this demonstration, you will see a brief walkthrough of how to use the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool. You will threat model parts of the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool itself by going through the four steps of the tool. Those steps are the Draw Diagram step, the Analyze Model step, the Describe Environment step, and then finally the Generate Reports step. Recall that the first step of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool is the Draw Diagram step. You can access the functionality provided by this step by clicking on the Draw Diagrams bar at the bottom left hand corner of the tool. Let's now start modeling parts of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool as a data flow diagram. Not all of the functionality of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool will be shown, just enough to give you a good idea of how to use the overall tool to model and analyze your own application designs. Let's first model the user of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool. To do this, we'll use an external interactor object. Next, let's model the threat modeling tool itself, and for this we'll use a process object. The user will issue commands to the threat modeling tool and the threat modeling tool will return responses to the user. And to model this, we'll use data flow objects. A feature of the threat modeling tool is that it can read threat models from the file system, and another feature is that it can save threat models to the file system. Let's model these two features. To represent the file system, we'll use the data store object. Finally, let's model the trust boundary between the threat modeling tool and the file system, since data flowing from the threat modeling tool to the file system, and vice versa, will traverse one privilege level to another. 
And to do this, we use the trust boundary object. Now that we have completed the data flow diagram that expresses some of the functionality of the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool itself, let's examine the potential threats that the tool has identified and provide mitigations for some of them. Let's begin by clicking on the Analyze Model bar at the bottom left hand corner of the tool. Here are the baseline set of potential threats generated by the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool as we were creating our data flow diagram. These potential threats were generated using the stride per element method, and as you can see, a substantial number of potential threats were identified. Note that you can filter threats by specific data flow diagram elements by selecting them in the Elements window on the left hand side of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool. Here, on the right-hand side of the window, you see all the threats that correspond to the command's data flow diagram element. For each threat, you need to provide a description of how the threat impacts the application feature, as well as describe the solution that will be used to mitigate the specific threat. Now, what if the threat detected is not an actual threat that could impact your business? You can certify that the threat detected is not an actual threat by clicking on the Certify that there are no threats of this type button. This will bring up a window where you will be required to enter a description as to why the selected threat is not an actual threat. Again, for every threat shown here, you will need to indicate a mitigation path that you have chosen. Now, let's move to the next step, which is the Describe Environment step. In this step, you will make note of any security dependencies or assumptions made by the application design. Note how when you right-click on any data element, you are given various options. One option is to open threats specific to this element, another is to note dependencies, and another is to note assumptions. If any additional information about this specific element needs to be noted, you can do so here. So for instance, say the element selected has a security assumption that needs to be noted. This will bring up the assumptions dialog where you can enter security assumption information on a per element basis as shown here. Now, if we go back to the Describe Environment bar on the bottom left-hand corner of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool, that assumption will be reflected there. Note how that assumption that was just entered is now shown in the Describe Environment space. Finally, let's see some of the reporting capabilities of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool. Here you see the reports view, 
and on the left hand side of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling tool you can select the type of reports you wish to view. For instance, if you wanted to see the results of the overall threat analysis, you would click on the Analysis Report option. Another reporting option that will be very useful to security teams is to view recommended fuzz tests. This report indicates which elements within the model should be fuzz tested during the verification phase of the Microsoft SDL. This concludes our introductory demonstration of the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool. However, you are strongly encouraged to begin modeling your own application designs and identifying potential threats. While the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool is not a formally supported tool, there is a discussion forum available at the link shown here to discuss the tool and also report any issues with the tool. This concludes the discussion of the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool. The Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool is a graphical user interface tool that application development teams can use to threat model the designs using the Microsoft SDL threat modeling process. The Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling tool provides several benefits and features to application development teams. The first is the high degree of automation of the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling process. By using the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling tool, application development teams can better ensure that they are following the overall threat modeling process correctly and yielding the best results possible for their threat modeling efforts. The second is that a baseline set of potential threats is created automatically using the stride technique. This feature of the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool is especially beneficial in scenarios where security expertise may not exist among internal personnel or for whatever other reason may be unavailable. For application development teams using Microsoft Visual Studio Team Foundation Server, the third benefit is that the Microsoft SDL threat modeling tool can integrate with existing Team Foundation Server issue tracking systems. Finally, the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool can create actionable reports which can be used by the rest of the application development team to drive security and testing activities in the implementation and verification phases of the Microsoft SDL. There are four basic steps to use the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool. The first is the Draw Diagram step, where application designs are expressed as data flow diagrams. The second step is the Analyze Model step, where a baseline set of potential threats to the data flow diagram elements is generated by the tool and mitigations to those potential threats are documented. The third step is the Describe Environment step, where details regarding the application, such as any dependencies or assumptions, are also documented. Finally, reports that summarize identified threats, mitigation paths, and other useful information are generated in the last step called the Generate Report step. Currently, the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool is not a formally supported tool. However, Microsoft has provided an internet discussion forum whereby users of the tool can discuss the tool as well as collaborate with other users. Lastly, the insights gleaned by Microsoft which are incorporated in its SDL and more specifically in this presentation which focused on the Microsoft SDL Threat Modeling Tool have been shared with each of you as a way for our organization to enhance our application development practices and the security of our applications. This presentation content has been created by Eclipse Security LLC for Microsoft Corporation. For any questions or comments, please email inquiries at eclipsesecurityllc.com.